Nose Guys. Hi. Um, we are day three. Uh, we just day got three. Yes. day three. Well, day three of adventure, oh, technically no, day yeah. four. Um, we just got done shopping at this little plaza. Um, it's like it's like a whole thing. You can't. This is really just the back. Um, but we decided to vlog in front of this little view. This the view's so good. Um, I grabbed a couple of things for my sisters. They just had birthdays. And instead of getting them something stupid from Pennsylvania, I was like, might as well get them cute little things from Arizona. So I'll show you guys that because I'm so, like, I'm so excited about them. They're so cute. Um, yeah, I got I got my parents a couple shirts um, from Harley Davidson because my dad's like a... They're into he, that. He, he has a, a bunch of shirts from all the different places. And everywhere that I go, I try to get a shirt for him. Yeah. I don't know if he'll ever be here or not, but... <laughs> but no, it's really cute. I really wanted to make it a point to like not go to like a mall. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to going to a mall, but I really wanted to go somewhere that was like small shops and like this was perfect. Like it's a whole bunch of small businesses and it's just so cute. I love it and I'm sad we have to go, but- Yeah, it was a nice little place. Um, we might come back and visit on Monday um, where we have a couple other things booked in Sedona. Um, but from now we are on our way to a, to baseball, a baseball game. game. Where are we going to see? I don't even know. We're going to see the Diamondbacks <laughs> and the Dodgers. Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. So, so because we were in Arizona, my we my prediction is the Dodgers are going to win seven to one. We'll see. That's my prediction. So we'll see. I'm so we'll shaky. See how it goes. Yeah, I'm so shaky. I'm so sorry. But yeah, we're on our way to Phoenix. We have a two-hour drive ahead of us. So let's get out. <sighs> yep. Let's go. I predicted 7-1 Dodgers. It's currently 11-0 Dodgers <laughs> and the eighth inning. So we're gonna go ahead and peace out. Um, I love I love baseball games, so this is definitely my type of vibe. She loved everything other than the baseball game, so. Um, I had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. overall it's good. Um, so now we're off to the water ride. Catch you guys there. Actually live from a cabinet <laughs> <laughs> with spices. I didn't even. Yeah. I never even opened this. What was the last thing? The water oh. slide. All right. So our little trip to the water park. It was fun. Like we didn't stay at the whole resort. We just paid to get into the water park because that was something you were allowed to do. Um, 
so it was like 50 bucks per person so we stayed there for a couple hours in the water the water was really nice like just not cold but like not hot yeah. um and it was really hot outside so that was nice um we went on the slide you guys saw the slide i give that a good two out of ten that was the worst thing i've ever done in my life i said what did i say seven out of ten i don't remember it was i don't know to me it was okay um it was just like two to three seconds of like adrenaline rush but it wasn't anything mm -hmm. special like it wasn't crazy and i kind of hurt my back so yeah no that just wasn't for me i mean i did it because i was like why not like we paid it to get in here so like whatever but it was a really like steep drop i didn't even tell them the best part oh. <laughs> the best part um yeah so we went on i slid all the way down and the girls they decided to just make an appearance and obviously there's like a lifeguard at the very end so he, he just had i mean he had a whole show the girls and the girl the girl she came out too i mean everything was just out like whole bikini bottom just shifted off to the side i mean and then i like oh my god i just remember feeling like the butterflies in my stomach because like you went on like the steep, steep one. I went on the second steepest one. Um, and I closed my eyes the whole time. Like I didn't even look, but like I just felt the butterflies in my stomach. It was like two drops. Oh my God, it was awful. I guess the adrenaline was like so crazy in my body that I just had like the worst headache afterwards. And like, we just got on the lazy river and we like made a couple passes. And I was just like a, kind of like half asleep and I was like holding onto Lance's foot so that I wouldn't float away. Um, but yeah, I'm never doing that again. I did it once. At least I can say that. I'm not doing it again. I don't know if I'd do it again. I'm not doing it again. I don't know why I'm holding this. All right, so we went, uh, you guys saw that we went shopping earlier today in Sedona. I feel like our days have been so long. So long. But we went shopping in Sedona earlier and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Lance, of course, only got like one thing and I got like 30. So the first ones are these cute little girls. One's for me and one's for my sister Emily because she just had a birthday. So this one's Emily's. She likes purple. So look at their little tails. They're so cute. And then I got a blue one. She has a cute little pink collar, same little tail. Um, the guy that we we went into his shop, he said these are handmade in Thailand. So that was really interesting. That was so cute. They had like handmade quilts and just like really cool stuff. Um, I definitely want to, we're going back there tomorrow because we kind of were rushing through that place uh, to get to the baseball game in time. But we're definitely going back tomorrow because I wanted to pick up something for my mom and I didn't get to. But anyway, this was this was just me because I thought it was cute and it matched my one bathing suit. I got this bucket hat and it's reversible and it has these flowers. And I literally have a bathing suit with this like same exact print. I also got this little bracelet on it. It's just like an evil eye with little diamonds on it. And then I got a moonstone ring too from that shop. Um, but that's, I already stored it with all my rings. For my mom. Mama Brenda's. This is like Sedona Harley Davidson. And it's got like the, um, what do they call it? The eagle? Cath Cathedral Rock or something. Oh, I don't know. And then the eagle. Um, but yeah, my mom and dad are like little bikers. So. They're little bikers. <laughs> and then I got my dad this, uh shirt just says like Sedona and then this one's got like the motorcycle with the, the rocks in the back that's definitely his vibe but, yeah it's a nice little moment for them so they can represent Sedona wherever they ride to so we went to a store called follow your heart so cute so a lot of these little stores are they all have really like the same vibe like handmade stuff like small businesses like 
um, a lot of like crystals and like geo. So this one guy, he had these little crystal trees and there's like a whole bunch of different crystals on here. I don't know my crystals like I'm sure a lot of people do, but like I know there's like amethyst on here, there's rose quartz on here, crystals on here. I feel like I know the name of this one, but I forget the yellow ones. They have these little green stones, which I feel like I also know the name of them, but I don't remember. And then it sits on like um, a piece of like actual stone. So they're really cute. Obviously they're kind of expensive, um, but this one's mine. I got my sister Emily one and I got my sister Kimberly one because their birthdays are pretty much right next to each other. So I decided to just get them. I got Emily's, like Emily's is a little bit smaller since I got her a little elephant. Um, but Kim's is pretty much like the same size except hers is all amethyst because I thought that kind of made sense for her and what amethyst, you know, represents and whatnot. She's really into stuff like that too, so. Okay, that was yeah. a blast. Yeah. My babe was thriving. I love baseball. Baseball is my favorite sport, so. Yeah. It was in his element. For that sure. was definitely, yeah, I was definitely in my bag in the game. I was trying to explain the rules and situational type stuff. Lance thought I was going to be miserable, but I was having the time of my life. When did I say your name was Well, you just didn't think I would be as excited, and I was like, I was in it. I meant like actually excited for the game. Well, I don't understand baseball, so <laughs> I understood it to an extent. I understood that we were losing. Enough with that. Mm. I mean, I was right that I thought the Dodgers were really gonna beat them bad. I just didn't know it was gonna be that bad. But I did get to see Albert Pujols play in person, so that was pretty cool. Um, Albert Pujols is one of the, the all-time greats, if you don't know who. Actually, like I knew, I knew he's been around in the league for a long time. I just didn't know exactly when he made his debut. He made his de debut in two thousand and one, so it is now twenty twenty one, and he's still playing. Um, definitely getting towards the end of his career, so I'm glad I got to see him in person before he retires. Yeah, no, it was a good day. We're tired. It's like almost twelve, if not twelve o'clock yeah, already. Yeah, it's, it's probably almost twelve. Yeah, so we're tired. We're going to go to bed. Uh, we got a shower already. So really, this was just like our last thing of the night. We decided to update you guys. And tomorrow's our last adventurous day. We have a lot of things planned. So we're excited. We're going to wake up really early in the morning. Um, and it'll be a good last day, I hope. We have a lot of things planned and I'm excited. I'm excited to do them all. not getting in I can't I can't do it like I really want to because it looks so fun and like you can slide down the rocks and stuff like all down this way but like just having my toes in here like I physically can feel my ankles like they hurt so bad because like it's so cold so Sadly, even though it's really, really, really hot, I will not be getting it. Oh, no worry. Yep. We made it to the zip line. I did my makeup and we changed. In the, well, I changed in the car. Um, but we're here and we're excited. There's not much of a view no, right we'll, now. Yeah. We'll try to get you a better view um, when we're up. Well, I don't know if we'll be able, I don't think I'll be able to take my purse, but we did get a photo package with this, so if not, I'll just post some, some pictures, photos, yeah. yeah, in here. Um, but it's a two hour zip lining trip over zoo animals, so it should be cute. Kind of scary, I hope. I was going to say, hopefully Scary's we don't, a little better. Hopefully you don't Yeah, it. hopefully we don't call it. So. We'll see. Zip lining. It was fun. Yeah, it was 
fun. Um, we're on our way to get food right now, but we wanted to catch you guys up on how our zip lining experience went. Um, so it was, like I said before, it was like a zip line over a zoo. The zoo? Let's talk about the zoo. Kind of look busted. All right, different point of view. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I do make it a point in my life not to go to zoos. I'm very like zoo opposed, um, which I don't know. I guess it's just something I've always done since forever now. But um, but the zip line, I was like, why not? It was really the only zip line that they had around here anyway. So we decided to do that and it was nice, but I mean, the zoo looked really busted. It was like a lot of dry dirt and weeds and just like it was just like dirt you know yeah. um <laughs> so the zip line it was like five lines and everything was like obviously on towers we had to climb like all of these steps which was awful the guys that were working made it made it a, a good experience at least um they were pretty like spirited about everything which yeah. i'm sure they've they've seen it all i'm sure so. they have yeah the guys were really awesome um they were so funny and just like, just the type of guys that you could just tell just don't even take life seriously. Like they yeah. were so funny. When I was going, Whoa. there was a, what's it called? A bridge. And I was walking down the bridge and he started like shaking the bridge on me. I was like screaming my head off, but it was fun. He shook the bridge for you. You were like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, I was just like, like holding on to the, the railing, but. Yeah, no, they were, they were funny ones. It was a good time. It was a good way to like spend the day so far. Next, now we're going to Panda Express. We're hungry. We haven't really had anything to eat. Um, even before we went to the swimming hole, we just ate the last of our Pop-Tarts that we bought. Um, and then we went to Blinding, so now we're actually gonna get some food. Hopefully we have time to go to the shops again. Um, but before we go to the spa, we have a spa day today, so we're really excited for the spa. I think it's like our way to like end yeah. the chaos of today, um, but it should be really nice. So yeah, we're going to eat and see kind of what we have time or we should have time. And we're also trying to see if we can go to like a fancy dinner tonight because we haven't really gotten to do that yet today. Obviously I bought a dress. Um, so I want to wear it. Like it is rated like one of the best spas there. So, or one of the best spas in Sedona. So I definitely wanted to make it a point to go to the spa. So we will see you guys there. We're here guys. We're matchy. Um, we said we were about to get in the hot tub. So we brought our bathing suits with. Um, because our session doesn't start until about an hour, so we can spend some time hanging around. Okay, so we're back home. We're pretty much all packed up. Uh, my nose is a little bit burnt from the swimming hole today. and But other than that, I got a pretty good tan. My neck's a little toasted. Because you can't really tell, but. I can't really see it. Um, we had our massages. How was your experience, Beam? It was pretty good. I never had a massage before, and I definitely needed it. Because my body was pretty much like worn out, just a little bit tired. So we got that taken care of. How was your massage, babe? It was really good. Um, sadly, me and Lance weren't in the same room. We kind of had to be split up because I guess the masseuse, one of them was really like crazy about COVID. So. They would just rather have us in separate rooms, but it was whatever. It was fine. It was really nice, though. It was really relaxing. I fell asleep. 
I'm pretty sure, did I tell you, I'm pretty sure I started snoring. I twitched. Did you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I started snoring. Um, Friends is on the TV, so we're like... Yeah, should we watch it? Pretty, yeah, hold on. <laughs> anyway. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know, I'm shaking that my arm was like dying. Mm-hmm. Shit. Anyway. Earthquake. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but it was really nice. We were allowed to go in an hour before and like chill at the hot tub and we were allowed to stay um, pretty much as long as we wanted to afterwards, but we wanted to go shopping in Sedona. So we just decided to leave right away. I did get these really cute bracelets at the spa. This is an opal bracelet and then this one's called Tree tree agate i don't even know how to say it but they are just like stones and they had like little um tags on them and you know what they represented and stuff like that so i just thought it was cute and opal is my favorite stone so of course i had to get this one but um it was really nice it was a really relaxing experience i think it was like a good way to end like our day after zip lining and mm-hmm. swimming hole and everything but yeah, guys, this is the last day. Yeah. Um, we pretty much, like I said, have everything packed up and ready to go. We're not ready to go, but... No, not at all. I mean, not I'm not ready to leave. I'm not ready to go back to Pennsylvania more than anything. Mm-hmm. Just, like, I don't want to leave here either, but, I mean, you could put me in a dumpster and I wouldn't want to go back to Pennsylvania. I'd rather stay in the dumpster. I'd rather be in PA, the <laughs> dumpster, but I get, I get the, uh, I get the, uh, analogy. Yeah. Overall, Arizona was definitely a success. Yeah, I think Arizona was definitely, I mean, for those of you who don't know, it was like our first like trip together, really. Just us two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My allergies are so bad right now and I don't know why, but... Yeah, it was our very first trip together, so I think we did pretty good. I mean, we did everything that we said that we wanted to do. I mean, we never got to go out to our fancy dinner last night or tonight. But I'm like, I'm not even mad about it. I was so tired after we went shopping and stuff. And like packing always takes like longer than I think it's going to. We both got showers, so I had to like wash my hair and I had to blow dry my hair and all of that. So... We have a really long day ahead of us tomorrow. Um, our flight leaves at one o'clock here. And then we have a seven hour layover in Denver. So it's kind of really annoying. Um, we were trying to see if I can go visit family during those seven hours, but I don't really know if that's gonna work or not because we're scared for whatever reason that like we're gonna miss our flight because sometimes delays will go from like seven hours to only four hours and or you know god knows so i'm almost like i'd rather just stay at the airport even though it's going to be excruciating and we're going to be so tired oh we're going to get back in pennsylvania at five in the morning if everything like leaves on time we have to wake up extra early because we have to drop off the car um our rental car and phoenix is two hours away from where we're at so this is gonna be like our third time driving into phoenix in this trip i don't i almost feel like we should have just stayed in phoenix um but no sedona was really nice i definitely really no, liked yeah, it sedona here. Is definitely the- i'm actually happy because i think and i think that's why i chose sedona over phoenix was because i didn't want to be like in a city so um well, no, Sedona has like the rocks and stuff. Yeah, this is and like everything we did was pretty much around Sedona, other right. than the Grand Canyon and a baseball game, but right. I definitely say give Arizona a shot if you've ever wanted mm-hmm. to come here or even if you've never wanted to come here. I hope this vlog maybe inspired you to go somewhere that you wouldn't normally go cuz I don't think I don't think I would have normally came here, but you maybe you're into this. I would have came here. Yeah, I mean I just wanted something different after city life for a while. I mean, my past couple trips, I just feel like I've been to Miami and 
I mean, I went to Mexico too. I just was like, I want something that's like a little more grounded and just a little more like chill. And like, I don't have to like shave everywhere before I go out. <laughs> um, so it was definitely really nice. I think we both needed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was good to get away. That's all we have for you guys. Saw tweet. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope they do too. I'm if we're you made excited. It, if you made it all the way to this point, thank you. You're a real <laughs> one. But we are we're really excited to even look back at the videos yeah. and just kind of have it like all put together and just kind of like relive it all over again. I think that's what I'm most excited for. Yeah. And it's just like nice seeing everything through video and not like all through picture. Mm -hmm. so more than anything if we only freaking get like one view i'll be happy because we'll have the videos so yeah yeah my loves that's about it sedoni arizona right. case closed that is it that's it we love you guys thank, thank you, you so much thank for you, thank watching you, thank you. and we'll maybe hopefully see you on the next trip where will we go next who knows Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's cold on the boys. All right, Lance, this is just gonna go for it. It's just gonna go all the way in. It's pretty deep right here. <laughs> is that as hard as you're getting? Because that wasn't that interesting. Yeah, but it's not. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I spawned. A dip in the pool. A trip to the spa. Not the whole day though, just like the last 30 minutes maybe. I literally can't stand packing. It's like the worst part of my life. Puts me in the worst mood. I can't stand it. I can't stand. I can't stand it. You can't stand it. I can't even sit it. 